Uh, Paul asks, uh, going to the optometrist this summer will be two years since I last went there and started amyopia. Should I pretend not to know or reveal what I've been doing? I understand that you should not confront and be critical to them. <sighs> okay, so my parents are medical doctors. Brilliant people. They escaped the Russian occupied country, taught themselves another language. Like they went through a lot of crap. Brilliant professionals, right? They, they really went through a lot to get to where they are. No lots of stuff. Super respected by the community. People love them. Very smart people. My dad loves statin drugs. He believes that you're going to have a heart attack if your cholesterol is whatever number and you don't take statins preventatively. You cannot talk to him about this. I don't take statins. I have done before and after blood tests, eating lots of meat and eggs and stuff and having my cholesterol go to literally 300 and cutting it to 150 within a couple of months just by eating a vegetarian diet. I'm not a diet proponent either way, but I wanted to demonstrate that that number he's so worried about, you can easily affect with diet. He will not hear about it. He says, you're going to die if you don't take stands, brain shuts off. The only reason I'm telling that story because those are the closest relationship you can have possibly to a person, your parents, and you don't know anybody better than your parents. Right? Like, and I cannot even talk to my dad about cholesterol, even super logical, simple things that he understands that are in his language won't hear about. The optometrist is a stranger, and you're the hundreds person to walk in there. They have something called seat time, how long they can spend with each person and still keep a profitable business. There's lots of things going on behind the scenes where they're like, I got 11 minutes with this guy, right? So when you say, I read on the internet, that is just... People hate that stuff, right? And they went to school. They spent lots of money in school. They probably had debt from school. They've been telling the story that they've been telling to thousands of people over the years. This is truth to them. Like this is a fundamental pillar of their reality. By you going, trying to saw at that pillar of their reality, nothing good will come of it. It is what it is. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying they're right. I'm just saying it's counterproductive to try to shatter a person's a, a significant part of their professional reality by saying all the stuff that you say is wrong and bad for people. So I wouldn't recommend it. Like I try to be, it's like social engineer, like understand where they're coming from, right? Like they believe, they fundamentally believe they're right. And this is genetic and incurable. And all you go is, okay, how can I still get what I want? My thing used to always be, I have close-up classes. I sat on them, they're broken. Can you make me new ones? And I would just walk into a shop and be like, hey, this is a story. I do it late morning. I had a whole system for this late morning. They already had the coffee. They didn't have lunch yet. They're not sleepy from overcarbing their lunch. It's late morning. They're well caffeinated. I'm picking an up busy time. Maybe I bring some donuts, sugars, great bribery, and be like, hey, close up glasses. I know they're not an official thing. I sat on mine. I broke them. Can I get new ones? It's a two minute question. Are people either receptive or not? People are like, ah, uh, uh, and I'm like, hey, and, and you just talk quick and friendly and like, I know what, what the doctors are. I know, I know. I'll sign a thing if you want. I'm not going to use them for driving, whatever. Can you make me some? Some optometrists are super cool. Some are not at all. It's kind of a fishing for personality types to go, will you make me this thing or will you not? If you develop a good relationship with them, you can get a tiny bit more adventurous. But imagine this being like somebody who walks up to you telling you about a weird cult or just anything that's completely out of your comfort zone or understanding, something that's opposed to what you believe. So you really are gaining very little by going, trying to upset the world. You know, bring some donuts, smile and go, hey, my distance glasses, I know you guys like to make them to 2010, but it gives me headaches, right? Can we, can we just sit around? Can I spend, I know you're busy. I'm gonna buy glasses. Can we spend five minutes with your test lens kit? Can we pop in some doctors? Some are cool, some are not. Respect their time, realize seat time is really important for them, realize they don't have an infinite amount of time to hang out with you. If you work it out, I've had great relationships with optometrists that eventually gave me good prices on, 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 on lenses, on cutting lenses. There's several uh, lens shops that are really great. Like in Germany, I used Filmon. I would buy um, uncut lenses on eBay. And they will just, if you buy frames from them, they will cut whatever you want. Um, in Asia, there's a chain, uh, can't think of the name now. They will 
make you new lenses within a year if your quote unquote prescription changes. And that's a very easy social engineering thing. If not, 50% off on replacement lenses you buy from them. So it's like 20 something dollars for replacement lenses. If you poke around, there's lots of options to deal with local optometrists if you want to. Meow, 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 meow. Meow.